Dayton with Cool Jazz Cafe. We're at the 23rd annual Boscov's Burks Jazz Fest in Reading, Pennsylvania. We're backstage catching up with Keiko Matsui before she performs tonight. Thanks for taking time with us. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Are you back in the time zone yet? You just came back from a tour in Eastern Europe. Yes, we were on the road for five weeks, 20 shows in Russia, Ukraine, Georgia, Azerbaijan, and uh, Belarus. So I don't know where am I. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in Reading, and your music is world music. Everybody mm -hmm. seems to really gravitate to what did you mm -hmm. do because you have so many different influences. Mm -hmm. And how was it when you were in Eastern Europe performing? How were you received? Uh, just I was uh, so amazed and so happy to see that my music connect to so many different um, countries and also people really connected to the life, other person's life, so I was feeling so honored. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. Now, you're originally from Japan, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And you live in L.A. now. Uh, uh, close yes, to LA. but yeah. um, I mean, still I commute to Japan, mm -hmm. but lately, almost like four months in Japan, but this out of, um, other eight months, I'm flying around, so I better to say, like, I'm living there. <laughs> you are living there, aren't yeah. you? Mm -hmm. So you travel a lot because you perform a lot during mm -hmm. the year. About how many days are you traveling? I, I haven't counted yet, but, um, well, last few years or so, it's been crazy. And, uh, but I'm very happy because uh, uh, every time, every place, that the more and more people are mm -hmm. waiting. And uh, on Twitter and Facebook, those uh, communications, social network, uh, connect us uh, quickly. So even I was touring in uh, Russia, but I received some um, uh, tw tweet mm -hmm. from uh, here, and yes. I'll be waiting for you at Berks Jazz Festival. No? That's great. <laughs> Great. That's great. So That's it's really very good. nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You truly are a citizen of the world, aren't you? Because you yeah. do travel and you reach so many different people. And mm -hmm. you started playing piano when you were a young girl, right? Yeah, five years. <laughs> Was it your mother who kind of got you involved with that? Yes, actually, my mom wanted to me to take a Japanese traditional dance, but I didn't show any interest. So it's very common that the mother takes piano lessons or ballet lessons. Okay. <laughs> so I took piano, but I never thought about becoming a professional musician. But now I'm feeling that uh, this is my mission of this life, like mm -hmm. delivering, dedicating my, my music through my finger. And I really feel that music connects us beyond the culture, religion, all the differences. Even we have war or even we have many things happening in this world, but still when we are Together at the concert, we are connected. So we are connected. That's, that's my, I, think, I feel that's my mission. And we're connected in a positive vibe, aren't mm -hmm. we? Very much, yes. We put our differences apart mm -hmm. and connect in a good space. Yes. So, so mm -hmm. when did you realize that this is really what you should be doing? Um, I'm not sure, but the, but the last 25 years, uh, I went through so many hardship and mm. many up and down, but basically I think uh, now I noticed that um, because of uh, my fans are waiting for me, so I always had a concert uh, booked, so I have to move on, right? Yes. That gives me my, um, gives me a lot of energy and uh, seeing audience happy face makes me happy, so that's why I could come here. And just um, when I was having a hard time, then I thought about, well, maybe I don't want to do, because piano was my partner for the life, so I never thought about to quit music or anything, just uh, when it was hard, just I feel like, wow, what to do? Shall I leave the, this universe or uh, no, this earth or something? But that time, I think my music helped me, and, uh, uh, Around that time, I, from my fans' message, I really feel I have to. I'm healthy and mm -hmm. I can travel. So as long as because I had opportunity to go to the concert, so I just feel honored and happy, and just uh, I like to keep doing this. Music can help to save each of us. I think so, really, yeah. Yeah, it mm -hmm. really can. Mm -hmm. This year mm -hmm. is a big year for you. This yes. is year 25, yes. right? <laughs> Since your first 
album. Album. Was, yeah. In the U.S. In the U.S. Mm -hmm. As Keiko Matsui. Yeah. Tell me more about that. Well, um, just uh, um, I feel so uh, uh, happy and uh, sometimes surprised because now I see that the little boy was listening to my music with the parents and now she, he's grown up and he comes with the father and sometimes I see like two generations together or sometimes they bought tickets for mom and dad for Mother's Day, Father's Day of my, I mean, uh, my show so it's been uh, very nice to see all these changes and yeah. at the same time um, just uh, I'm happy to yeah. celebrate this year. Mm -hmm. So, how many CDs total do you have out? I think uh, I released altogether 23 albums okay. in the past, and the latest one is the call, uh, it's called The Road, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and now I'm making a new one, and it, it will be out by summer, this summer. Yes, because you are a pianist, you're a composer, you're also a producer, too. Mm -hmm. What do you like doing best? What, but what do you like doing best? Um, well, it's just, uh, I'm enjoying so much. All of it together, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, it's hard course, to separate, isn't yes. it? Yes. And of course, for me, the composing part is very important. And uh, my music reflect, uh, music has lots of reflection, like mirror, from my thought, or from my experience, or from my vision, uh, from the trip. So it is very interesting to express myself into my music and I spend lots of time to compose and when I compose I don't really play. Just sit in front of the piano and wait to hear something to come. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that part I take more time but very mystic progress mm -hmm. and when I start receiving I, I feel like whoa and this time um, I recorded um, three places, um, five songs in New York, and with Chuck Love and uh, Willie, um, uh, friends, and also in San Francisco, uh, I did with Narada Michael Warden, mm -hmm. uh, producer drama for Whitney, and okay. uh, we had a great time, so um, I'm waiting for final mix, and also Los Angeles, I took uh, three songs with my uh, best friend and arranger, Derek uh -huh. Nakamoto, so I'm very excited about this album. Excellent. I can't wait to hear it. Thank you. So you also give back a lot, too, and you get mm -hmm. involved with different charities. Mm -hmm. uh, what's really important to you? Which charities? I, there are uh, a few, uh, aren't there? Yes. Um, uh, hard to pick one, but uh, because uh, I feel that um, I'm healthy and a mother of two girls, and. Uh, just I can travel with my music, so whenever I feel that important cause, uh, I would like to give something back through mm -hmm. my music. So in the past, I did uh, breast cancer awareness because I lost my elementary school friend. Mm. She was so young and she passed away. And uh, just uh, um, and also I was approached uh, and uh, I learned about this um, uh, reality that I'm one of minority too and like um, bone marrow donut program too and a certain um, ethnic background had um, a missing, I mean, a missing opportunity to do early checkup or all this mm -hmm. information. So that's why I can be on the stage and I can talk about it and um, um, I feel very, it, uh, it's very important. That's why I have been doing. You can give voice to it. Mm. on stage, like yes. you do to the piano. You give a beautiful mm. voice to the piano. Oh, thank you very much. And all the different influences come out. I mean, the jazz, mm -hmm. the classical, the world. Rock. Rock <laughs> and blues. Yes. All of this is together yes. making your sound. And it's mm. constantly, there's an evolution with your sound, with the experiences you have, right? I think so, yes. Yeah. Mm. Well, I can't wait to hear you tonight. Thank you very much. You're just going to light up the stage. <laughs> thank you thank so you. much for thank taking you. time today. Thank you so much. We're coming to you from the 23rd Annual Boscos Burks Jazz Fest in Reading, Pennsylvania.